Hallelujah. This is Prophet Maurice Caho. I come your way one more time for us to hear the word of God. And this hour, you will be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I have one of my, my son here with me that will be doing the Bible reading. And he's an upcoming apostle. He have the calling but he's still going through the process of it. And he is Apostle um, Sami. As I say, he's my upcoming son in the apostolic. God bless you for your time to watch. And he is here. He wants to say uh, hello to you. All right, my son Sami. Let them hear from you. Hello. The Lord bless you for watching. Keep connected and you'll be blessed. Thank you. As you follow us. Amen. You have hear from him that you keep connected. You will be blessed as you follow. God bless you for coming. Share the video. Invite your friends. Let them know the prophet is live. You'll be blessed today in the name of Jesus Christ. So before we go on, I want us to, to share a word of prayer. Shall we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that you have given to us to hear your word. Everlasting King of Kings, we appreciate you. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. Thank you for the marvelous things that Lord Jesus Christ you are doing in our life and you are here to do. Thank you for the greater things you are doing in our life and you are here to do. Father, we magnify your name. Father, we glorify your name. Thank you, Jesus, for being our God. Today, I pray that any power, any demon, any dragon, any beast that will rise up to attack this live video, that will rise up to hijack what we are to do, any witchcraft, marine power, occultic power, malabolism forces, demonic entities from the waters, from the clouds that will rise up to hijack, we bind them in Jesus Christ's name. We destroy them in Jesus Christ's name. We confuse them in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring them under our feet in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that, Lord, you will touch the heart of your people, that they will be able to hear, to, to take your word. Open their ears to hear. Give them the heart to receive the word. Any power that will attack their network so that they will find it difficult to connect, let that power be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless them as they join. Bless them as they come to watch. Flourish them and prosper them. Mm -hmm. Whatever situation any of them have and have come in contact with this video, let that situation turn into testimony in Jesus Christ's name. Mm -hmm. Let that situation that they carry turn to testimony in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. After this live video, Lord, let them have mind-blowing testimonies to share mm -hmm. to the glorification of your holy name. Mm -hmm. Whatever we'll be doing here, Daddy, it is unto your glory. We ask that you take the glory. We ask that you receive your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Power remind belong to our God forever and ever. Amen. Power remind, power remind. Oh, belong to our God, Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. Sing it, amen, amen, amen. Blessings and glory and glory, wisdom stands giving. Oh, and honor, and honor, power of mine. Oh, belong to our God, Jesus, forever and ever. He never lied to me. He never lied to me. Oh, Lion of Judah, he never lied to me. Oh, he never lied, he never lied, he never lied to me. Oh, Lion of Judah, he never lied to me. 
Oh, you cannot lie. You cannot lie. You cannot lie to me. Oh, lion of Judah. You cannot lie to me. You are so faithful, God. You are so faithful, God. Oh, lion of Judah, you cannot lie to me. Oh, you are so faithful. You are so faithful. You are so faithful, God. Oh, lion of Judah, you are so faithful, God. Oh, you are so faithful. You are so faithful. You are so faithful, God. Daddy Jesus, lion of Judah, you cannot lie to me. The Lord cannot lie to us. He is not a man that he shall lie. Have he said it, and shall he not bring it to pass? Whatever the Lord has spoken through his word is true. Hallelujah. So today we are going to hear his word. His true word. Amen. The word that cannot lie to us. The word that cannot disappoint us. Amen. The word that cannot deceive us. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to our Bibles now. God bless you. My daughter, uh, Tampa Tani Purity. Purity. God bless you for watching. Uh, my daughter, Evelyn Apia. The Lord bless you for coming to connect. God bless you. Wherever you are watching, God bless you so much. I love you all. The Lord Almighty who change your story this hour in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. I have a message for you. I want you to give your time and then listen to this powerful word that the Lord has for us. Amen. Amen. All right. So let's go to our Bible. Let's go to Job chapter 42, the verse 10. Job chapter 42, the verse 10. And, and then the topic of this message is, uh, we are going to, to pray, but we'll hear this word. The topic uh, of this message is, O oh Lord, arise and turn my captivity. Amen. That is the topic tonight. O oh Lord, arise and turn my captivity. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want your, your brother uh, Samuel to read from uh, Job chapter 42, the verse 10. So you're listening as he reads. And I'm reading from the book of Job 42, the verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job mm. when he prayed for his friends. Mm. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You have heard his word. That what? And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job Twice as much as he had before. The Lord bless the reading of his word in Amen. Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 So Job was in captivity. He was highly afflicted. Amen. When you will become a captive, it means that you are under an oppression of a wicked master. You are a slave under a wicked master. You are under control. You want to do something, you can't do it. Your own desires, you can't fulfill them. You want to go here, you can't go. Why? You are a captive. You have been captured. You have been restricted. You have been limited. You have been confined at a particular place that you can't go where you want to go. You can't eat what you want to eat. You can't rest the hours you want to rest. Why? You have been controlled by a master that is very wicked. Amen. So Job was into captivity. He went to rest. He had no peace to rest. He was highly afflicted by the devil. He was being smitten by a deadly disease, leaving all his skin sore. He was always sitting down, sorrowful. All his peace, his joy left him. But I love Job. Job never gave up. He stood for his God. He had faith for his God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. He believed in his God, even in the midst of that affliction. Job was a very rich man. Very rich man. He married, had children. And just all of a sudden, all these things he had all vanished. They all destroyed. His wealth, God disappeared. Hallelujah. His joy, what gave him comfort, was taken away. He was having no comfort, no peace again. We all hear the story of this Job. The wife, Dara, also even encouraged him, came to discourage him, telling him to curse his God and die. But he said, no, in good time, we, we, we were praising the Lord. So this bad time too, let's continue to believe him and praise him. He is God in the good time and in the bad time. Hallelujah. Amen. So this Job's faith never dropped, even though he was surrounded by affliction, even though he was a captive, even though he was into captivity. But he never gave up trusting his God. Even the friends that Ralph encouraged him, they also came discouraging him. Some thought that maybe it was as a result of his sin. He was suffering those things. You see, instead of them to give him comfort, courage, they were discouraging him. There comes a time in life that you want comfort. You want encouragement from some people that you trust. But you see that they will all turn against you, discouraging you for you to just give up and die. Hallelujah. You see, so this scripture is telling us that your comfort does not come from man. Your comfort is not in the hands of man. Your comfort comes from God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Your joy does not come from man. Your joy is not in the hand of man. Your joy is in the hands of God. Praise the Lord. You see, all the people that you trust, that oh, they can bring you out of that mess. They can bring you out of this captivity. They are the people that will even be what? Adding more torment to that captivity. That was the, the story of Job here. The wife, his wife herself was discouraged. The friends that would have encouraged him, they were discouraging him. He would look for left, right, for comfort, for peace. He found none. But he held on to his God in faith. Hallelujah. The human system can disappoint this attack that have come today, many people put their trust in doctors, but now they themselves cry, they didn't understand what is happening. So it means that when you put your trust in man, you get disappointed. You need to put your trust in God, the able God, the God that has the solution to every problem that exists on earth here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, one thing I, I, I'm so glad is that the Bible says God turned the captivity of Job after he prayed for his friends. Look at He prayed for his friends and God turned his captivity. So today in Ghana here has been declared a national day of fasting and prayer. So that prayer is what? Intercessory prayer for the nation, for the people of the nation. So anybody that have prayed, you have interceded for the nation, for your brothers, your sisters out there in the other regions, some of us even praying, you are praying for nations, the whole world is sick. So we have interceded for the nations of the world. So that intercessory prayer you have offered is not in vain. God is going to pass through that to turn that captivity around. Hallelujah. Amen. To turn your captivity around in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any of you that fasted, you pray for Ghana, you fasted, you pray for God to heal the land, to help our leaders, to help the members, you have offered intercessory prayer. And the Lord will turn your captivity in Jesus' name. Amen. Because Job prayed for his friends. He interceded for his friends. And God turned his captivity. Hallelujah. The nations that you have been praying for, your nation that you have been interceding for, where you are watching now, that nation you come from, you are interceding for it. God will use that to turn your captivity and turn the captivity of the nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So the topic is, Oh God, arise. Oh Lord, arise and turn my captivity. And turn my captivity. It means that we are in captive. 
We are in captivity. We are restricted. You want to go here, don't go here. Don't go there. Don't gather together. Why we are restricted? What is happening? That means we are slaves to what? To this coronavirus. Praise the Lord. So Job was a slave to that disease. That cleft onto his skin. He was a slave. He couldn't go where he wanted to go again. He was just confined at one place. Sitting down there. Amen. The friends even came. It took them days before they could utter a word because of the state of his condition. Hallelujah. So, but today, we are hearing the good news that God turned the captivity of Job and blessed him as twice as he was having before. So let's go back to the Bible again. The verse 10 says, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. You see, it means that this captivity that have come, this affliction that have come to the nations, we are all struggling. After God turned this captivity, this captivity around, he will not just leave us like that. He is going to bless us double. Hallelujah. I don't know what this uh, affliction came and destroyed in your life. Be it your business, you shut your shop, you are no longer selling. Whatever this virus has come and caused, the damage it caused, don't worry. After God turned our captivity, your shop will receive double blessing, mm -hmm. double customers in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Your business will receive double blessings from God. Mm -hmm. That was what happened to Job. Job lost everything as a result of that affliction. But after God turned the captivity, he was blessed double. And I see the Lord doing the same to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I see God doing that in the name of Jesus Christ. Our ministry has been closed down and we are all hiding, hiding in our various room, group, group, pray. Hallelujah. The affliction thought that it has brought down the ministry. Listen, the Bible says that all things work together for the good of those that love God and are called according to his purpose. So this affliction is for our good. After the Lord turned our captivity, I tell you, all the churches will be full in the name of Jesus Christ. The churches will receive double promotion, double blessings, Double breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Christ. Because God did the same to Job. And he will do it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So you will not die. Why? Job didn't die in his affliction. He was highly afflicted. He, he sensed death. But he didn't die. God preserved him through the affliction. The same God that preserved him through the affliction. The same God will preserve us through this affliction in Jesus' name. The same God will preserve you that is watching through this affliction. And you will not die in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, I want us to go to Hosea chapter 6, the verse 11. Hosea chapter 6, or Hosea. You know them. You call it. Amen. 6, the verse 11. So, if you are, you are there, my son, you can read to us. Uzziah 6, 11. And I read, Also, O Judah, he has set a harvest for thee, when I return the captivity of my people. Amen. Amen. Do you hear that? Hosea 6, 11 said that, O Judah, O Judah, I have set a harvest for thee, when I turn your captivity. It means that, hmm, what is happening? God has already set a harvest for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God has set a harvest for the nations of the world. God has set a harvest for Africa, for Ghana, for Asia, for the European countries. God has set harvest for the Americans. God has set a harvest. After he turned our captivity, we just go straight in for harvesting. Amen. If you believe it, give me a mighty amen. Amen. Let your amen roll like thunder. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you, if you believe that, I want you to comment a mighty amen to the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. That is what the Bible says. That, oh Judah, I have set before thee a harvest after I turn thy captivity. Hallelujah. So, after every captivity, there is a harvest. A harvest prosperity, good health, breakthroughs, joy, wealth, peace, all that. You will get them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, I want us to 
to go to uh, Zephaniah, Zephaniah chapter 3, Zephaniah chapter 3. All right, I will, I will read from verse 1 going down. You will hear something. Zephaniah chapter 3. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Mashakarabasi brandalaba. Rakatarabasi brandiri biantalaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Zephaniah chapter 3, the verse 6 going down. Zephaniah chapter 3, the verse 6 going down to 20. We are reading. Hallelujah. So I read. Listen. I have cut off the nations. This is God saying. I have cut off the nations. Their towers are desolate. Are you hearing that? God has cut off the nations. Not one nation. All the nations. And their towers are desolate. And their towers are desolate. I made their street waste. All the streets of the nations are wasted. Nobody. People are running. You go somewhere, you see empty street. Everybody is inside, hiding. Hallelujah. He say what? I made their streets waste. That none pass by. You see, going somewhere, you can't go. You are afraid to walk to this place. Because of the fear. Amen. Of what is happening. He say what? That none pass by. Their cities are destroyed. Hmm. Cities for. Their cities are destroyed because there are a lot of death. Happening everywhere, cities. So that there is no man, that there is none inhabitant. Verse 7. I said, surely that will fear me. Why is God doing this? To bring fear so that you fear him. When you put your trust in the man, a man cannot help. You now say that, oh, there is a God in heaven. Amen. God is doing that for you to fear him. He said, what well, the verse 7 says, I said, surely thou will fear me. Thou will receive instruction. Amen. So now, when he gives instruction, you receive it. When God passed through the president of the nation to say, don't do this, don't do that, you follow it. They give their directives and instruction, you follow. Hallelujah. He said that what? Thou will receive instruction. So their dwelling should not be cut off. So it means if you refuse to receive their instruction, your dwelling will be what? Cut off. You receive the instruction because you don't want your dwelling to be cut off. Hallelujah. However, I punished them, but they rose early and corrupted all their doings. Even this that is happening, you will be surprised that some people are still busily sinning. Some people are still hiding, doing evil things, the things they used to do. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. But God is telling us his mind here. The verse 8, he said, Therefore, wait ye upon me. Wait. That is why Ghana here is declared fasting. We are waiting on the Lord. Fasting in prayer today which we waited upon the Lord. He said that, Therefore wait ye upon me, say yes, the Lord. Until the day that I rise, listen now, until the day that I rise up to the, uh, to the pray, hmm? for my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Why? The Bible says God is a jealous God. He doesn't want to see us giving our heart to any other thing apart from him. So if we are giving our heart to anything apart from him, or maybe we claim to be, we are following him, but we are not following him. Our hearts are corrupted with sin. We hate each other. Even when we gather to, to say we are worshiping the Lord, but we, our hearts are not open toward one another, we are just the hypocrite pretending we are serving the Lord. All these things, the Lord say, hmm. He say he will pour his anger because he's a jealous God. It means we are not serving him right. It means the nations are not serving him right. It means even spiritual leaders are turning against each other, criticizing one another. This one is demon. This one is occult. This one is this. True jealousy and all that. And we are not giving, rendering to him the true worship, the true service. Us. We want to humble the nations now. Hallelujah. But let's continue going down. He says that in the verse 9, For then will I turn to 
and the people a pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to save him with one consent. After this thing is happened, now that the trouble has smitten everywhere, we are praying and we are not seeing top, uh, it's not changing, it's still increasing and doing this, that, 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 that. Huh. All this affliction, this captivity will now let us to be able what, to call upon him. To call upon what? The name of the Lord to save him with one consent, to save him in unity. It means that we are serving the Lord in this unity. We pretend to be united. Hallelujah. But we are not. We say now, he will torment us. He will pour his wrath, his anger, his indignation upon the world to afflict us so that after that, we will now all call upon his name in one consent. Hallelujah. We will all save him with one consent, one mind, one heart, loving each other, embracing one another. Hallelujah. You not stand and criticize here. Don't go here. It's demons there. Don't go there. That church is bad. You are insulting. And now you two, uh, you are a church member. You sit down there and insulting your man of God. Your man of God is like this, like that. It means that we are what? Hypocrites together. That is why God has to empty the auditoriums so they will run and hide and his fear will enter our heart. When we go back to the auditorium, we will all save him very well. We will serve him in one consent. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. So now, verse 10. Let's go now. Verse 10 says that, From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliants, even the daughter of my despair, shall bring my offering. Amen. Uh -huh. After this, people that were withholding from the Lord, they will begin to give to the Lord. Hallelujah. Those that were greedy, they don't want to support God, well, you be, they will begin to now send their offerings. They will believe that it is only God that saved them. Hallelujah. Verse 11. In that day shalt thou not be ashamed for all thy doings, wherein thou hast transgressed against me. For then I will take away out of the midst of thee them that rejoice in thy pride. And thou shalt no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. Thou sh shalt no longer be proud, be haughty. Amen. Because of his holy mountain. God is humbling everybody here. Verse 12. I will also live in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people. Are we not seeing it? There are afflicted people now among us. And they are being what? Quarantined. Amen. That is what the Lord said. I will also live in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people. And they shall trust in the name of the Lord. So now they see that. A medicine and drugs are no longer working. Injection and scientists are no longer working. What they will do is they will trust in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what God is doing. God is sweeping the earth. He's washing the earth. He's patching the earth. Hallelujah. So that his children will be straight. They will be straight. They will serve him in truth and in spirit. Amen. What again did he say? The verse uh, 13 says that the remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. Hallelujah. Everybody now will speak the truth. When you stand on the pulpit, you will preach the truth. You will no more be lying. Hallelujah. Everybody will now speak in the truth. Why? Because the fear of the Lord has returned through the affliction he has sent unto the nations. Praise the Lord. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. Now, we will no longer be deceiving each other there and saying we are serving God, but we are not serving God with our heart. That deceitful tongue will disappear. Hallelujah. The bribery and corruption will disappear. Praise the Lord. People will no longer mislead you. People will not dupe you again. The, the scam, the, the, the frost, frost will all be ceased in Jesus' name. Somebody will just sit and use the computer and lie that is this and that and that and lie to you and take your money. Through scamming, deceitful, deceivers, frosters. Hallelujah. All these things will be ceased because the fear of the Lord will return to his people. Because he says he's a jealous God and he's pouring his anger upon his people to return to him with, and serve him in one consent. Amen. He said that a man shall make them afraid. Hallelujah. Verse 14, sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice. So there is an assurance here. Listen to the assurance here. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart. 
O daughter of Jerusalem. Verse 15. The Lord has taken away thy judgment. So it means God sent forth judgment upon the nations. God was judging us for our iniquity. But here he said, Be glad, rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for the Lord thy God has taken away thy judgment. The judgment of condemnation, the judgment of affliction. Hallelujah. He has cast out thy enemy. Thy enemy of coronavirus, God has cast it out. Hallelujah. He has cast out thy enemy, the king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. Hallelujah. So this is an assurance from God through his word that thou shalt see no evil anymore. You shall see no evil anymore. You shall see no what? Coronavirus. You will not see coronavirus again. You will not see evil. You will not see people dying again in the hospital. Hallelujah. This is what the Lord has said. The, the last part, he said that is in the midst of thee. Even the Lord is in the midst of thee. So the Lord is in the midst of the nations. The Lord is in the midst of Ghana. The Lord is in the country that we are watching from. The Lord is there. And thou shalt not see evil any more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. This is what the Lord said. If you are happy, give him a very big amen. Amen. I can't hear your amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Say, you will not see evil again. The verse 16. In that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not. And to Zion. Zion here is referring to the church. And to Zion, let not thy hands be slack or be feeble. Hallelujah. Verse 17. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. Amen. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Amen. The verse 18. I will gather them that are sorrowful. In this season, many people lost their loved ones. They are sorrowful. They are in sorrow. Many people love their dear ones, their loved ones. And they are in sorrowful. But he said that I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assemble who are of thee to whom the reproach of it was a burden. This thing has brought reproach. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. To many people. It has brought well reproach to many people. But the Lord is giving an assurance he will gather us. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Behold, at that time, behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee. And I will save her that halted, and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Wow. Praise the Lord. The Lord said, He will give them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. This thing has brought a lot of shame to the lands, to the nation. But what is happening is God is turning it for fame. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The verse 20. I like here. Listen. Remember, our topic is, O oh Lord, arise and turn my captivity. The verse 20 says that, At that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes. Say yes, the Lord. Wow. So that is one of the benefits. When God turns your captivity, he gives you a name and a praise among the people of the earth. So God is turning the captivity of the nations. And after God turns the captivity of the nations, he will give the na names and praise to the nations. Some nations that were not known, they will be known. Some ministries that were not known, they will be known. Hallelujah. If you wasn't rec being recognized, you'll be recognized after your captivity has been turned by the Lord. So this is bringing promotion. Job had his portion. So this is our turn. Job in the Bible had his what? Portion. He went through the affliction and he got promoted double. God bless him double. His joy that got missing, his peace that got lost, was being found back double. Hallelujah. Was being restored back to him double. So God is restoring back our lost joy, our lost peace, Hallelujah. Amen. God is restoring our lost businesses. Whatever good thing we have lost, he's restoring it not only just one, but double time. Twice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is the promise of God for you from his word. Praise the Lord. 
the Lord gave me this message. I wasn't to come on life, but God spoke to me when I went to pray on my prayer mountain. The Lord delivered a message that go tell my people, deliver this message to them. I am telling them this, let them hear from me. So this message, the Lord has given to me to deliver it to you. So I will plead with all of you that are watching to kindly share this video for the Lord. Share this video and the Lord will bless you. Hallelujah. So today we have here the benefit of when God turned your captivity. Let's go back to Job. Let's go back to Job. Masharada Baseki Pranda. Job. Chapter 42. So we read the verse 10. Let's go to the verse 11. Let's go to the verse 11. The verse 11 says, Then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters. James, uh, that is Job chapter 42. We are reading from verse 10 to 11. So we read the verse 10 now. We are reading the verse 11. I read. Then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters, and all they that had been of his accountants before, and did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold. Verse 12. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and a thousand yoke of ozin and a thousand she asses. Hallelujah. And he had also seven sons and three daughters. And he called the name of the first Jemima and the name of the second Kezia. And the name of the third, uh, Karen Hapok. Karen Hapok. Amen. We are here what the Lord has done after he turned the captivity of Job. Where were his brethren and sisters? After God now turned the captivity of Job, now <laughs> his brothers and sisters, they remembered him now. And they went to him to eat with him. The time he was afflicted, they all ran and hide. Because of coronavirus, <laughs> people are running away from you. Because everybody is living in, in, in a suspicious life. They are, they, are, they are suspecting you. Maybe when you just sneeze or you just you cough. Oh, people are, they don't want to get close. Why? You are in captivity. Everybody is afflicted. Whether you have it or not. But so far as it's circulating around, nobody knows who is having who don't have. So everybody... Everyone is just being what? Under suspect. Amen. You see now. So his brothers and sisters were away. His accountants, they were all away. For the fear that they will also get the disease that was upon Job. They never came to eat with him. But after God turned his captivity, now they came and did eat bread with him in his house. They now know where he lives and they went. But now everybody is, is hiding. People are isolating themselves for the fear of this virus. Hallelujah. But I tell you, after God turned this captivity, your friends will come back to you. Amen. I say you, you even have new friends, good ones. Amen. And then the fake friends will run away in Jesus' name. Amen. You don't know what God is doing. He said everything works together for the good. Yes. After this, this uh, 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 COVID-19, after it's gone, they friends that were not friends will, lead, will stop following. They will run. Hallelujah. Amen. They will go. And new ones will come. Faithful ones will come. Those that will be able to stand with you even your, your affliction. God will send them to you in Jesus' name. Amen. You, you face through some problem even your family members probably will want to uh, reject you. That was what happened to this man. He was highly afflicted. And when they came, they didn't come empty-handed. The Bible says they presented what? Uh, let, let, let's read what they, they, they did. After they did it with him, they did what? They comforted him over all the evil that the Lord brought upon him. That time, Job needed comfort. They were nowhere to be found. They all ran and hide. They said, oh, sit down there with your, with your calamity. Eh? 
you know what you did and you carry this disease on yourself. They thought he sinned. Nobody want to, to be associated or identify with him. They all ran and left him. But after that, they returned and comforted him. The comfort he was looking for came back to him. So when God turned your captivity, one of the things you do is your lost comfort will come back to you. You will be comforted. Amen. Hallelujah. The peace will come back to you. Amen. Amen. When they came, what happened was that they brought upon him, every man also gave him a piece of money. After this thing, I see people giving you money. Amen. People will give you gifts Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Your helpers will begin to remember you and come to you and help you in Jesus' name. If you believe it, give a mighty amen to the Lord. Amen. This is a prophetic word coming to you. Yes. So you believe it, it will work for you in Jesus' name. Amen. So that was what happened. Mm. So they gave him money. And everyone are hearing of gold. Mm. Ah, gold will come to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Diamond will come to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bauxite will come to you in Jesus' name. Amen. I say money will come to you. Amen. After this, COVID-19, coronavirus, you will have financial breakthrough. Amen. You receive breakthroughs. Amen. Receive in Jesus' name. I receive it. Yes. That is the promise of God. And what did the Bible say? So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. I see God blessing you Amen. more than what you have Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are blessed by this word, say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, I am, I am blessed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As you comment that you are blessed, so be it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As you comment that you are blessed, so be it unto you in the name of Jesus. So, we have gone through this. The Hosea 6, 11 says, I said before you, I harvest after I turn your captivity. Instead of you to, to go and, 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 and guess what? Begin to, to, to farm. No. God said you just go straight to harvest. Amen. That is Hosea 6, 11. You go straight to harvest after your captivity has been turned. Praise the Lord. And Zephaniah 3, 20 is telling you that after God turn your captivity, he will give you a name and a praise among the people of the earth. Those who look down upon you, they will, they, they will start looking up to you. They will start hearing of you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I say tonight, it's a night of prayer for God to turn our captivity. And we all hear that Job prayed for his friend and God turned the captivity. He wasn't selfish. Even though he was going through what his affliction, he remembered his friends. He interceded for them. He prayed for them. And God turned his captivity. Well, my daughter Miranda said, I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. Uh, Purity said, I'm blessed. Elizabeth Grace said, I'm blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. And um, Deborah Sediku said, I'm blessed. And okay. And wonder maybe say I'm blessed. All right. So be it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed forever in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. And the Bible says that the blessing of God make her rich and add no sorrow. May this blessing make you very rich and prosperous in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Comfort saying I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. We appear I cannot say I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. So be it as you declare it. We shall decree a thing and it shall be established. That's what the Bible says. Whatever you are declaring is happening in the name of Jesus Christ. So uh, we are about to walk into prayer. We are about to go into prayer. God will do something. God will turn your captivity around today in the name of Jesus Christ. So, but before our captivity can be turned, we have to follow what Job did and his captivity was maintained. So we are interceding for Ghana. We will intercede for the nations of the world that are sick. Hallelujah. The Bible has said it in Second Chronicles 7.14. If my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and seek my face and pray it and turn away from their wicked ways, I will hear them from heaven and heal their land. Amen. So we are going to to call on the mercy of God interceding for the land and after that we intercede for each other 
And I tell you, after that prayer, your captivity will be turned in Jesus' name. That is exactly what Job did. He interceded. He prayed for his friend. And God turned his captivity. Amen. Amen. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. New every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. We are sorry, Lord. We are sorry, Lord. We are sorry, Lord. Sorry for our sin. We are sorry, Lord. We are sorry, Lord. We are sorry. We are sorry, Lord. We are sorry. We are sorry, Lord. Sorry for our sin. I am sorry. I am sorry, Lord Jesus. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry. I am sorry, Lord. Sorry for my sin. We are sorry. We are sorry, Lord. Father, we are sorry as a nation. We are sorry, Lord. We are sorry as a whole world. We are sorry, Lord. Sorry for our sin. Lord, prepare me to be sanctuary, pure and holy, dry and true. We stand still. We stand giving now. Be early. Raka pasataria na lava sanctuary, sanctuary for you. Lord, prepare me, Lord, prepare me to be sanctuary, to be sanctuary. Pure and holy, pure and holy, trust and true. We stand. We stand giving, I'll be a leaf, I'll be a living sanctuary, sanctuary for Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want you to begin to intercede for your nation. Ask God to have mercy on the nation that you are coming from. Ask the Lord to show mercy to Ghana. Ask the Lord to show mercy to your country. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Masha Katoria la Bazinda, Roko para Bazirian Talabaya Zabaya. Father, we are pleading your mercy, O oh Lord, your mercy, your mercy upon Ghana, your mercy upon the land, your mercy upon the regions, your mercy upon the districts, your mercy upon the towns, your mercy, O oh Lord, upon the villages, your mercy upon, O oh Lord, the municipals, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy. Masha Katoria la Balaba, show mercy to the nation Ghana. Show mercy. Have mercy on Ghana. Have mercy on the nations of the world. Have mercy on the nations of the world. Have mercy, oh God. Have mercy. Have mercy. Show mercy to Africa. Show mercy to Asia. Oh Lord, show mercy to the European continent. Show mercy. Oh Lord, to America, to Russia. 
your mercy, your mercy, your mercy. Mashakatoria la basike telibianta. Lebra katoria tabaya tabaya. Lord, your word say if you humble your ourselves uh, and seek your faith and turn away from our wicked way, that you will hear us from heaven and heal our land. Father, Lord, we humble ourselves. We ask the Lord, you have mercy, show mercy to the nations. Have mercy. We have turned away from our wicked way. We are pleading the Lord, you show us your mercy. Your word say you show mercy to whom you want to show mercy. You show compassion to whomever you want to show compassion. Show your compassion on the nations. Oh, forgive us. We confess that we have sinned. Oh, the bribery, the corruption, the killing, the stealing, the bri- oh, the fraudulent. Oh, Lord, all the evil things. Oh, Lord, Father, the nations has done against you. The witchcraft practices, the idol worshiping, all this. Oh, Lord, Father. Oh, we pray that you show mercy. You show mercy. Oh, many people have sinned. Oh, Lord, we have sinned. Oh, nations have sinned against you. Our nations have sinned against you. Innocent blood has been shed. Oh, that have brought curses, that have brought your anger, that have brought your indignation upon us. But today we recognize all our sins. And we are praying, Lord, to show us mercy. Show mercy to Ghana. Take away their sins. Oh, Lord, purify the nation. Sanctify the nations. Sanctify Ghana. Can sanctify Africa, sanctify, oh Lord, Asia continent, sanctify, oh Lord, the European continent, sanctify all the countries of the world. For all have sinned and fall short of your glory. Oh Lord, we come to your throne of mercy and we are seeking to obtain mercy to the nations. We are seeking mercy for the nations of the world. Oh, forgive. Lord Jesus, the sins of fraudulent, the sins of scamming, the sins of bribery and corruption, the sins of idolatry, immorality. Oh Lord, the sins of lying, the sins of deception. Oh Lord, show mercy, the sins of uh, oh, homosexuality in the nations. Oh Lord, the sins of lesbianism. Oh Lord, show mercy to the nations. Show mercy, show mercy, show mercy. Oh Lord, oh homosexualism, lesbianism. Oh Lord, all these sins have been commented or committed on earth. Oh Lord Jesus, and that brought your anger, your indignation upon the nations. And everybody, oh Lord, has been afflicted and suffering. We are pleading to forgive us. We are pleading to forgive the nation. Forgive the sins of idolatry. I don't worship. Oh Lord, many has run to trees. Many has run to rivers in search for power. All these things, oh Lord, tarnishing your image. Oh Lord, using your name in vain. We are pleading for your mercy. We are pleading for your mercy. Those that killed, those that have committed abortion. Oh Lord, they have killed the innocent babies and they are crying. Their blood are crying for vengeance. The innocent has been killed through terrorist, terrorism. Oh Lord, we pray. Father, to show mercy, show mercy, show mercy, have mercy on Ghana, have mercy on the nations of the world. Forgive, forgive the sins, the iniquity of our forefathers. Oh Lord Jesus, Mashakarabaya, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord Jesus, your mercy is endure forever. Show us your mercy, Lord. Show us your mercy, Lord. Your mercy endure forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Makotara Bayana. Lebrandora Bayana. Lebra Shakatabaya. Lebrandoro Moyakata. Rokotoria Mamama. Lebra Soroma Kandir Biantola Baya. Oh Lord, show mercy. Mercy to the nations. Mercy to the nations. Oh. In the name of Jesus Christ. Show us mercy, Lord. Show us mercy, Lord. We cry, O Lord. We cry for mercy. Show us mercy, Lord. Show us mercy, Lord. Show us men's Lord. We cry, O Lord. We cry for mercy. Show us mercy, Lord. Show us mercy, Lord. Show us mercy, Lord. We cry, O Lord. We cry 
cry for mercy. Show the nation, show mercy, Lord. Show us mercy, Lord. Maraba sharabalaba. Show us mercy, Lord. We cry, O oh Lord. We cry for men. Show mercy to the nations of the world, yo. Show us mercy, Lord. Yara balaba balaba. Show us mercy, Lord. We cry, O oh Lord. We cry for mercy. Show mercy to our leaders, yo. Show us mercy, Lord. Yara balaba balaba. Show us mercy, Lord. Hey, we cry, O oh Lord. In a mama, 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 we cry for mercy. Father, show us mercy. Show the nations your mercy. Show the world your mercy. Show Ghana your mercy. Hear our cry. Our cry for mercy. Lord, Father, we have not hide our sins. We have confessed. Yes. Your word said, you are faithful and just mm. to forgive whoever that shall confess. Mm. To forgive when we confess our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Mm. Father, forgive the sins committed by our leaders, mm. committed by the members of the country, their citizens. Oh, Lord Jesus, mm. show mercy. Mm. Mercy, oh, Lord Jesus Christ, the nations. So mercy, in Jesus' name we pray it. Amen. Amen. And one thing we'll pray again here is uh, the Bible says something in Exodus. Let's go to Exodus chapter 20. Mm. Exodus chapter 20. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Exodus chapter 20. The verse 3 going down. Mm. We are going to use this also to pray. Amen. The Lord says, so let's just start from the verse 1 going down. And God spake all this words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Hallelujah. Amen. God has brought us out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Amen. Amen. I want your brother Samuel here, my son, to read the verse 4. Going down uh, to verse 6. Read from the verse 4, going down to verse 6. Amen. Amen. So as we continue reading from the verse 4, and the word said, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, all that is in the water under the earth. The verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor save them. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and the fourth generations of them that hate me. The verse 6. And showing mercy and to thousands of them that love me, and keep my commandment. The verse 7. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy, the Lord thy God in vain. Amen. 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 For the Lord will not hold him guilty, guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, my son, Samuel. Amen. Amen. We have heard that. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any grieving image, anything likeness in heaven or earth under the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. You shouldn't make an image of it and bow to it. Mm. When you do that, you are worshiping an idol. If God open your eye to see what is in heaven, to see the angels, don't make an image of it and bow to it. Mm. It's an idol. If God open your eye to see heaven and see God on the throne, don't make an image of it and bow to it. It's an idol. 
If God open your eyes to see Jesus Christ, to see Mary, to see the saints there, don't make an image of it. He said anything likeness in heaven. Anything. Don't make an image of anything. Likeness. The verse 4. Let me read it. He said that thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. So if God open your eye, you see an angel, be it angel Gabriel, you just make an image. This is angel Gabriel. Mm -hmm. You bow down to it and say, oh, God, have mercy. You are worshipping an idol. You see Jesus Christ, you make an image of it and you bow down. Oh, Jesus, show me mercy. You are, you are praying to an idol. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And God says he's a jealous God. If you do that, you see himself God, you create an image. The saints there, be it the apostles or the prophet, you make an image of them. You mold them. You carve them. And you bow down to them. You know, bowing down to them. You are worshipping an idol. And the wrath of God will fall on you. Hallelujah. I'm not the one saying it. It is in the Bible. He said, don't make anything likeness. Likeness. Looking like what you have seen in heaven. Anything in heaven. Don't make what you even see in the sky. The stars. The moon. You make them. He said, don't do it. Don't bow down to them. Mm. They are idols. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And he said, anything, what? On the earth, he showed the places. Whatever you see there. If you see a goat walking on earth here, you just make, this is goat. And you, you, you just mold it. And you are bowing down. You are worshipping idol. You just see a human being. Oh, this human being. You just mold that. You are, you are bowing down. That is an idol. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What are in, in the, on earth here? We see trees. Yes. We see rock. You just mold something a rock. Or you go to a rock and you bow down to the rock. That is an idol. You are following human being. Or you follow human being. You are bowing down. That is, you are worshipping an idol. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. So, listen. And you say anything. Or that is in water under the earth. Mm. You see something that is in the water. Maybe you have seen crocodile. May they live in water. Yeah. Now you just mold it, you carve it, crocodile. You are bowing down to crocodile. You are worshiping an idol. idol. You have seen python. You, you mold that python. You are bowing down to it. You are worshiping idol. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. You see bull walking around on earth here. You now mold that. Right. We are talking about those in water. Eh? Yeah. Uh -huh. So those in water, fish, they are living in water. Yes. Snakes are living in water. Yeah. Crocodiles are there. Yeah. Mammy water is there. Mm. Is that not it? Yes. Uh -huh. So whatever that lives in the water, mm. you are able to see be it a very big fish. Mm. You just mold it. You bow down to it. It's an it's what an idol. And things under the earth. Mm. Things are under the earth. If you are able to, to see anything mm. under the earth, you mold it. You are worshipping idol like that. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. You see the various places in heaven. On earth and under the earth. Don't make any image, graven image of anything like that. And bow to it. The Bible says that he's a jealous God. Mm. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. Mm. Unto the third and fourth generation of those that hate him. Hallelujah. Amen. The verse 5 now says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. All the things we have mentioned, if you see them, and you mold them. He said, don't bow down yourself to them. Nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So when you do that, you, you are bringing what? Curses. You are bringing the wrath of God. When you worship them, you bring the wrath of God. If your forefathers once worshipped them. They brought trouble, affliction. God said he will visit the iniquity of your fathers upon you. Even third to fourth generation. They are dead many years ago, decades ago. But you now come and suffer what they did. Amen. Amen. Some of us forefathers worship a lot of things. They did a lot of evil things. And God is now visiting their iniquity upon us. And we are all troubled, afflicted here. The thing is that when we also come, instead of having to live right, we are also joining what our forefathers did. We are also sinning more. 
Hallelujah. We have to repent. We have to fear God. We have to love God. So that his mercy will come on us and he'll bring us out of the, 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 what? the curses our forefathers brought upon our lives, our lands, our, our families. Because this is what the Bible says. You visit the iniquity. You wasn't there. That time you wasn't born. But you, you are bearing it. You are also going through the, the affliction because of what, what they did. Amen. But there is an assurance that makes me very happy here. The verse 6. He said that, And show ye mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandment. You see that? And show ye mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandment. You see? So if you love the Lord, he will show you mercy. Amen. The curse that your forefathers brought upon the Lamb will not hunt you. Amen. Four generations ago, three generations ago, the curses they brought through their sin, through their iniquity, God will not bring it upon your head Amen. if you love the Lord. He said he will show what? Mercy unto such people that love the Lord. So the question is, do you love the Lord? Do you live a life that pleases Him? If you live a life that pleases the Lord, then you are, just, you are qualified for His mercy. He will show you mercy. This is what He says. Amen. So, now, what we are going to pray again is that, Father, forgive the iniquity of our fathers. This thing you say we shouldn't mold them in heaven, on earth, and there. Some of our forefathers, they did it. They molded them and worshipped them very well. Well, They slaughtered and sacrificed to them. Amen. And they never knew Jesus before they died. Now they brought these curses now upon our lands, upon our families. We are suffering under what they did many generations ago, many years ago. Hallelujah. So we are going to plead that Father forgive the sins, the iniquity of our fathers. Show them mercy too. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Our fathers that ever lived in this land, our fathers that ever lived, lived in that nation, what they did against God, and God is very angry, and God is visiting you because of that. God is tormenting you because of that. Let's ask that the Lord should show us mercy because we have known him, and we have loved him, we have accepted him as our God, and we are not worshipping those things. Let's ask that God, show us your mercy. Show them mercy. Forgive them what they did. Don't Use what they did against us. Begin to pray that prayer. Turn into prayer right now. Father Lord, we are here. Pleading that you should forgive. The iniquity of our fathers. What they did. Many generations ago. Father Lord, and it's now hunting us. And you are visiting us. Because of their iniquity, Lord. We pray for mercy. We ask that you show them mercy, Lord. Show them mercy, show them mercy, Lord. We are pleading for your mercy, O oh Lord. Show our forefathers mercy. What they have worshipped. What they have bowed down to. What they have molded and bowed to. What they have created and bowed to. What they have carved and bowed to. Father Lord, what they have served. Father, that brought your anger upon the land, upon our families, upon our nations. Father, forgive them. Forgive them what they did. All the evil they did. All the evil, the unknown gods they serve. The unknown God they gave their heart to. Father, forgive them. Father, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. And I see the Lord shown us his mercy. He has shown our forefathers mercy. He has taken away his wrath from us. We will not suffer what our forefathers have shown. We will not harvest that pains again. We will not harvest that uh, domination again. We will not have that affliction, that trouble, that hardship that they sown for us in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. We are prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now, the Lord has shown you mercy. God has shown our nations mercy. Through this prayer, God has shown us mercy. What we are going to do now is that don't forget our topic is oh lord arise and turn my captivity don't forget the benefit when god turn your captivity what will happen to you the benefit hallelujah so now we are going to pray to god to turn our captivity we have interceded for the land amen, amen. to show the land mercy and which he did so what we are going to now do is we are going to intercede for 
our families, our brothers and friends. Job prayed for his friends and God turned his captivity. Amen. Amen. So we are interceding for our brothers that have been afflicted across the globe. God, help them, heal them, deliver them. And those that also lost their loved one through this virus, God, comfort them. Comfort their hearts. Let's begin to intercede for the, the, those that have been sorrowful. Those that have lost their loved one through this. Let's pray that the Lord should comfort them. Hallelujah. Begin to intercede, somebody. Begin to intercede. Begin to intercede. Thank you, O Lord. Begin to pray, somebody. Begin to pray. Begin to pray, Begin to pray now. Thank you. Father Lord, we pray for everybody across the globe. Those that have lost their loved one through this uh, COVID-19, through this coronavirus, through this pandemic, Lord, I pray that you comfort their heart. I pray that you encourage them. I pray that strengthen them to stand for you. Let their faith not drop. Help them, Lord, to continue to love you. Help them not that don't let the enemy get the opportunity to talk to them to begin to doubt you. Father, we pray that you comfort them. We pray that you strengthen them. We pray that Lord, you guide the fathers that love their their wives and and their sons, their daughters. Lord, Father, men that love their wives, women that love their husbands, their children. Father, strengthen them, comfort them. Men that love their brothers, their sisters, their Lord, nephews, uncles, whatever, Lord, they have lost. We pray for your comfort. We are praying for your strength on them. Help them to know that there is still hope for them. Help them to know that there is still life for them to live. Help them to know that all hope is not gone. Father, comfort them, comfort them. Let them see your goodness. Let the enemy not talk to them. Father, Lord, we are praying to strengthen them across the globe. We pray for our brothers that are out there that are sick, that are victims to this uh, virus, that are sick. Father, wherever they are, we pray that, Lord, you heal them. Heal them, Lord Jesus. We are interceding that you heal them, O oh Lord. Heal them, heal their bodies. You are a healer. We know you as a healer. We know you as a healer, the great physician. Father, we pray to bring healing. Bring healing. Bring healing. That tree that is in the in the city of heaven, in the street of heaven, and the leaves that are bringing healing to the nations. Father, we declare healing from that leaf through Jesus Christ. Let them be healed by his stripes. Let them be healed in the hospitals. Let them be healed in their various homes. Let them be healed. Anybody that has been tormented, Father, heal them. And also our breathing that are out there, that have been smitten by fear and panic. Oh, Lord, that the enemy is using this opportunity to, to lie to them, to deceive to them and put fear in them. Father, deliver them from fear. We ask the Lord, you deliver them from fear. Give them hope. Let them know that the end has not come. Let them know that they will make it. Let them know that, Lord, they are not going to die. Let them know that there is a future for them. There is your plan for them to fulfill. Father, we pray to touch them and strengthen all of them in Jesus Christ's name. Father, we are interceding and praying for our leaders, our presidents across the globe. We ask the Lord, you help them, comfort them. Lord Jesus Christ, those that are reigning, those that are in power, those that are on the seat, and this thing has come. Father, Lord, to meet them on their seat, we pray to strengthen them. Let them love you. Let their love in you increase more. Let their trust in you increase more. Strengthen them. All the, the members they have lost in their country, give them the courage. Strengthen them, oh Lord. Let them know that, Lord Jesus, you are alone. You are God that will save them. We pray that, Lord Jesus, you strengthen them to stand. Let none of them be discouraged. Continue to be with them. Continue to guide them. Let them be healthy. Oh Lord, and continue to rule, continue to lead us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are praying that help so that this uh, virus will not let them lose their focus. Father, all their plans that they have, oh Lord, all your expectations in their life, Father, be accomplished. Let them not lose focus through this uh, disease, COVID-19. Help them to stay focused to their vision in the name of Jesus Christ. We are interceding for the health workers. Father, they are always attending to their, to their victims, to the afflicted. We pray to preserve them by your blood. Father, protect them. Let none of them be attacked. All the health workers, all the doctors and nurses. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus, the pharmacists, we pray that you touch them. We pray that, Lord, you, you, you touch them. You vindicate them. You fortify them. Let your blood mark them. 
that when the enemy come, it will pass over. When the virus come, it will pass over. It will fear them. No virus will touch them. None of them will be afflicted. Take away fear from them and give them the wisdom, oh Lord, so that they will be able to treat those that are afflicted. We pray for every wealth, a health worker. Touch them and protect them, Lord. We intercede for them in Ghana, across Ghana. Lord Jesus, in Africa, in Asia, in Europe. Lord Jesus Christ, touch them, all health workers. Strengthen them. Let fear be far from them. Let them be bold. Let your faith increase in them in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Lord. We pray for all the men of God across the globe. As we are all praying, oh Lord, for this calamity to be taken away, Father, we pray that you strengthen each and every one of us. Let us stand on our feet. Let us know you still, you are, you are still on the throne. Let us know, oh Lord, you are still our leader. Let us know you are still our master. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, that do what please you. I pray for your strength unto every man and woman of God. That you strengthen us to continue to, to stand and never lose focus. Oh Lord, let this virus not let us lose focus. Let us not lose our visions. Oh Jesus, strengthen the churches to stand. Strengthen every believer. Oh Lord, all Christians, Father, strengthen them to stand. Let them know you are still the God that love. Lord Jesus, let them know you are still the God that safe. We know you are still with us. Because you say you are with us to the end of the earth. Now fear not, peace I live with you. I will be with you in trouble. Father, we pray to strengthen each and every one of us, every Christian across the globe. Let us stand and never backslide in Jesus' name. Even we pray for the unbelievers at this season. Father, you will speak to them in a language that they will understand and they will come to the knowledge. They will come and follow you. They will come and believe you. They will come and give their heart to you in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for everybody. We pray for everyone. We intercede for everyone across the globe. We intercede for everybody across the globe. We intercede for everyone. Everybody. Daddy, we have interceded. Lord, for everyone. Those who are sick, let them be healed. Lord Jesus, those that are having even problems. Lord Jesus, before coronavirus came and act. Bring them out of those problems. Bring them out in Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for praying. The Lord has answered our prayer. Thank you, you that is watching. God bless you for interceding. God bless you. God bless you for interceding. God bless you for interceding. Amen. The Bible says Job prayed for his friends and the Lord turned his captivity. As we pray for our friends, our brothers, God has turned our captivity. I see the Lord turn your captivity in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So now, we are going to, to pray. O oh Lord, arise and turn my captivity. That is the topic of our prayer. O oh Lord, arise and turn my captivity. And those of you that have joined earlier on, you hear the benefits when God turn your captivity. Hallelujah. So, we are going to pray. When you are praying this prayer, you pray seriously. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, O oh Lord, arise. O oh Lord, arise. And turn the captivity of Africa. And turn the captivity of Africa. And bless us double. And bless us double. And bless us double. And bless us double. O oh Lord, arise. O oh Lord, arise. And turn the captivity of Asia. And turn the captivity of Asia. And bless them double. And bless them double. O oh Lord, arise. O oh Lord, arise. And turn the captivity of Europe. And turn the captivity of Europe. America. America. Russia. Russia. And bless them double. And bless them double. In the name of Jesus. Name of turn it into prayer in now. Turn it into prayer now. O oh Lord, oh Lord, arise. arise. And turn the captivity of Africa. And bless us double. America. Oh Lord, arise. And turn the captivity of Asia. And bless them double. Oh Lord, arise. And turn the captivity of Europe and bless them double. Oh Lord, arise. Turn the captivity of America. Oh Russia. Oh China. We pray, turn their captivity. Turn their captivity and bless them double. And bless them double. Turn the captivity of our nation, Ghana. And bless us double. Mashaka Toriala Bazende. Mashoko Toriala Ba. 
Lord, arise. Then the captivity of Africa and bless us double. Then the captivity of Europe and bless them double. Oh, then the captivity of Asia and bless them double. Then the captivity of the globe. Then the captivity of the nations of the world and bless us double. Father Lord, you have turned the captivity of Jopa and you bless him double. You bless him double. Turn our captivity and bless us double. Turn our captivity. Mashokotoria Nabaya. Maro Sharonda. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Give me the globe. Thank you, Jesus. God is turning our captivity. God is turning our captivity. In the name of Jesus. We use this as a point of contact to pray for the whole globe. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are using this as a point of contact to pray for the whole globe that God show mercy mm. and turn the captivity of the whole world Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Say, oh Lord, arise. oh, Lord, arise. And turn the captivity, turn the captivity of, the whole globe, of the whole globe, of the whole world, of the whole world, of the whole globe, of the whole, globe, of the whole world, of the whole, world, of the whole globe, in the name of Jesus. They're going to pray that prayer right now. Oh, Lord, arise. Turn the captivity, oh, Lord, of the whole globe. Arise, O Lord, turn the captivity of the whole world and bless the world double. Father, arise, turn the captivity of the whole world, turn the captivity of the whole globe and bless the world double. In the name of Jesus, take away this virus from the nations of the world. Turn this virus away, take it away. Take it away. Reketerianta. Coronavirus. We suck you. By the mercy of God. We suck you. By the compassion of God. We suck you. We reject you. We denounce you. We throw you away. Hey. You coronavirus. Pack your Lord and leave the nations. Leave the globe. Let the Lord turn the captivity of the globe. Let the Lord turn the captivity of the globe. And bless the nations. Bless the nations. Father, as you turn the captivity of Job and bless him double. Do the same. Remember the wealth. Remember the wealth. The world is afflicted. The world is afflicted. But remember the wealth. The world is afflicted. Remember the globe. The world is afflicted. Remember the globe. Turn the captivity, Lord. Turn the captivity. Turn the captivity. Pray. Somebody intercede. Somebody intercede. God is hearing us. Intercede for the nations. Intercede for the globe. Intercede. Tonight is a night of intercession. A night that God will remember the globe. A night that God will heal the land. Oh Lord, arise. Show your mercy. Take this pandemic away. Take this COVID-19 away. Take this coronavirus away. And any deadly disease, take it away. Any spirit that is behind it, take it away. Take it away, Lord. Take it away. Masha Kapapa. Let it go back to wherever it came from. Let it go back to wherever it came from. Let it go back to wherever it came from. We intercede for Africa. We intercede. Oh, for Asia. We intercede for Europe. Oh, Lord, save the globe. Save the nations. Heal our land. Heal the nations. Heal the economy. Heal the economy. Heal the economy. Of Africa, heal the economy of Asia, heal the economy, oh Lord of Europe, heal the economy of Russia, oh heal, 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 
Oh Lord, heal our charges. Heal our businesses. Heal our career. Heal our ministries. Heal our families. Across the globe. Show your mercy. Show your mercy, Lord. Take away this virus away. This pandemic. This COVID-19, take it away. It cannot be our leader. COVID-19, you are not our leader. COVID-19, you can't rule us. You cannot detect for us. COVID-19, you cannot give us instruction. COVID-19, you can't respect us. COVID-19, you can't close down our schools. COVID-19, you cannot close our flights. You cannot close our travels. You cannot close them. Oh, our homes. We say you are a liar. Jesus Christ is a king. Jesus Christ is on the throne. COVID-19, you cannot rule the world. COVID-19, you are not our new king. Jesus Christ remain our living king. His name remain our living king. We command your name to be forgotten. Let your name be forgotten. COVID-19. Let your name be forgotten in the world. Let your name be forgotten. And let the name of Jesus remain. Let the name of Jesus remain. Oh, Rabba, Baba, Baba. The name of Jesus remain popular. The name of Jesus remain famous. The name of Jesus remain popular. You cannot be popular in this world. You COVID-19 disappear. Go away from the nation. Go away from the globe. Go away from the globe. Somebody intercede. Somebody intercede. God is hearing our prayer. God is hearing our cry. The Lord is hearing our cry. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. He said, call unto me. I will answer you. We are calling upon the Lord. Somebody pray. Father, save our nation. Restore our nation. Restore our economies. Restore our businesses. Restore our ministries. Restore, restore. Your word has said it. In Joel, chapter 2, that verse 25. You restore to us the years, the caterpillars, the locusts, the canker worms, the palmer worms has eaten them. That your people shall eat in plenty and they shall be satisfied and they shall not be ashamed. Father, we pray. Restore our nation. Restore our lives. Restore our finances. Restore our businesses. Pray for the nation. Somebody intercede. God is hearing our prayer. Mashaka pa pa pa. Somebody intercede. Somebody intercede. Somebody intercede. God is hearing our prayer. The world is safe. The nations are safe. The world is delivered. Somebody intercede. Intercede for the nations. Masha pa 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 pa. Coronavirus. You are not our new king. You cannot rule. We prophesy. Mene mene tekel afasem. Mene mene tekel afasem. Mene mene tekel. Oh Lord, let the finger of God write mene mene tekel afasem against coronavirus. Let his reign come to an end. Let the reign of this wicked king coronavirus come to an end. The pandemic, the COVID-19. Oh, Jehovah the Sun writer. Jehovah the Sun writer. Arise. Write mene mene tekel afasem against coronavirus. Let his reign come to an end. Let his reign come to an end. Right, mene mene tekel. Afasem. Mene mene tekel. Jehovah the sun writer. Let your finger write in the favor of the nation. Let your finger write in the finger. The favor of the world. Mene mene tekel. Mene mene tekel. Mene mene tekel. Afasem. Against coronavirus, leave our nations, leave our wealth, leave our nations, leave our wealth. You cannot reign. Let your name die. Coronavirus, we command your name to die. Let your name die in the nations. Let your name die in the global. 
Let your name perish and be forgotten. Let your name perish and let the name of Jesus remain. Let the name of Jesus remain popular. Let the name of Jesus remain popular. Let the name of Jesus Christ remain famous. Never again coronavirus. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. When the finger wrote on the wall, the reign of that wicked can came to an end. Oh Lord Jehovah, we pray to write Mene Mene Tekel Afasen against coronavirus, against this pandemic, against this COVID-19. Oh, Jehovah the Sunwriter, Jehovah the Sunwriter, let your finger write in favor of the whole globe. Let your finger write in favor of the whole globe. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. After the Lord parted the Red Sea, mm. for his children Israel, mm. for the Israelites mm. to pass through the dry ground through the Red Sea. Look at the Israelites, mm. they were nearly destroyed. Mm. They were nearly being consumed. Mm. But the Lord delivered them. Amen. The Lord saved them. Amen. They suffered affliction mm. for 30 years. Mm. Hallelujah. Uh, but the Lord what? He delivered them. The Red Sea came in order to stop them so that the Egyptians will not kill them. But the Lord parted the Red Sea for them. Amen. And they walk on dry ground. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He's the same Jesus Christ. Yes. He's the same God. Mm. He is still on the throne. Yes. Coronavirus is not the one on the throne. Amen. But today, coronavirus is seeking for name. Mm. Our news everywhere, social media, coronavirus, coronavirus. We command your name to perish and be forgotten. Name of Jesus May our children never remember your name. Amen. May our children never remember your name. Amen. Your name perish forever. Amen. You coronavirus, let your name perish forever. Amen. You cannot be popular. You Amen. cannot reign. Yeah. The name of Jesus be on top. He is our boss. Yes. He is our master. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I want you to come and say coronavirus. Jesus is my boss. Mm. Jesus is my king. Mm. Jesus is my ruler. Mm. You can't rule me. Amen. You can't reign. Amen. You command that. Say coronavirus. COVID-19. Jesus Christ is my boss. Jesus Christ is my boss. Jesus Christ is my king. Jesus Christ is my ruler. You can't rule me. Live now. Live now. Comment, somebody. Live if now. you are together, comment. If you are together, say coronavirus. coronavirus. Jesus Christ remain my boss. He remain my king. He remain my ruler. He alone will rule me. Somebody comment. Coronavirus. Jesus Christ is my boss. Jesus Christ is my king. Comment somebody if you are together. If you are together. He alone will try on. Yes, declare, declare, make a decree. You coronavirus. Jesus Christ remain my boss. He remain my master. He remain the king of kings. Oh yes. Yes, you can reign. You can reign. You can rule us. Mashakatala bala bala basaketerianda. If you are together, I want to see your comment. Coronavirus. You just comment. Coronavirus. Jesus Christ is my boss. He remain my king. Any, anyone, any way you want to write it, you write it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Masha Karaba Sopranturianta. Yes. Dibura Sediku. Coronavirus. Jesus remain my boss and king. God bless you. So be it. And that is the truth. Hallelujah. You comment. Push shame to coronavirus. Mm. Yes, Wonder Mavis. She says, Coronavirus, Jesus Christ, remain my boss. You can't rule us. Mm. God bless you. Amen. Coronavirus, you have ears here. Yes. Hear what we are declaring. Amen. Hear what the sons and daughters of Jesus Christ are declaring. Amen. Jesus Christ remain our boss. Amen. He remain our king. Amen. He remain our master. Amen. He, may, he remain our ruler. Amen. You can rule us. Amen. Leave us alone. Amen. Go away. Yes. Let your name perish. In, name in Jesus name. <clears throat> my daughter Evelyn up here. You say COVID-19. Jesus Christ remain my master. My boss. My king. Yes. Yes. 
We are celebrating. Coronavirus, you have a name, you have an ear, you can hear. Hear what we are declaring. Amen. And the Bible says we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Amen. And God has made us kings and queens. Mm -hmm. He has made us priests, hallelujah, Amen. upon the earth. So whatever we decree, mm. it shall be established. Amen. We make a decree, coronavirus, Jesus Christ, remain our ruler. Mm. Clear off, pack off, mm. and let your name be forgotten. Amen. Let your name be forgotten. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Anointed Shola Dauda, my boss. Okay, you say, coronavirus, Jesus Christ, remains my boss. Your comment. Comment. Those of you that are watching, I pray that your network, your network will help you in the name of Jesus Christ. Mark Karaba Sirianda. Lebra Sharadaba Ziki Pranto. Maraba Ziki Pranto Laba. My daughter Evelyn appear. I see a turnaround coming to you very soon. The new man that we are moving into is a good man for you. Amen. I cover this prophecy with the blood of Jesus Christ. No power can hijack it, manifest it, it must manifest. This new man we are going in, this is God speaking to you through me. It's a good man, man full of favor. A man full of favor, Evelyn appear. Huh. Great things will happen, you'll be surprised. The Lord said that struggle is over. It's over. It's over. Larry Boski, coronavirus, you can't rule me. Jesus Christ, remain my boss. He's the ruler of our life. Thank you. God bless you. This is what I want to hear. Coronavirus must hear this. He must pack out. Shame unto it. COVID-19, shame unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Evelyn Appear. I see an attack on marriages in your family line. Mother's side, attacks on marriages. But I see a very beautiful wedding that is about to take place. Very beautiful wedding. After this, this thing is over, a very glorious wedding. I can see a very glorious wedding. A very glorious wedding. Um, Evelyn up here. I see a very glorious wedding about to come. Your family. Somebody. God is just blessing. I see somebody on the altar with wedding gown. And I see a lot of balloons. Mark this prophecy. Mark this prophecy. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Maraba shaka turi alaba siki pranturi antalaba. Reke teribi antalaba zibran tulobu shakara balaba. Reke lebe lebe. Those of you that are watching, just comment. Coronavirus, Jesus Christ, remain my boss. He remain my king. He remain my ruler. Anyway, you want to write it, you write it that way. Amen. Coronavirus. Jesus Christ remain my boss. He remain my master, my king, my ruler. You, coronavirus, you can't rule me. Pack away. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sylvia, uh, Sylvester, Sediku, my brother, my friend, and my pastor. God bless you. Jesus is the ruler of the whole world. Hallelujah. Amen. I like the way you make this decree. God bless you. Jesus is the ruler of the world. Well, coronavirus can, can, cannot come and rule us. What kind of king is this? We dethrone him in Jesus' name. We cast it away from the throne. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ma katara balabasi kipranta. Ohine Kennedy. Just right. Coronavirus, Jesus, remain my boss. Jesus, remain my ruler. He remain my master. You can't rule me. Pack out. Everywhere coronavirus, it name perish. Amen. It name perish. Amen. We decree and declare perishing, Amen. domination, condemnation to the name coronavirus. Amen. Let it be forgotten. May nobody remember it again. Let the Lord render you useless in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord render you useless in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Jesus. Now, we have interceded for the whole world. We have interceded for the globe. Job interceded for his friends. And God turned his captivity and blessed him double. You have interceded for a lot of people, nations, 
So expect greater blessing from God. Your blessing may not even be double, more than double, because you have you have interceded for a lot of people. Hallelujah. You have interceded for a lot of people. So the Lord will bless you more. More than double. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So now, pray for yourself. We are going to pray. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Say any spiritual prison. Any spiritual prison. I can't hear you. Say any spiritual prison. Any spiritual prison. Holding me captive. Holding me captive. What do you think you are doing? What do you think you are what doing? What do you think you are doing? What do you think you are doing? Catch fire. fire. Catch fire. fire. Pray, 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 whatever you are. Any spiritual, spiritual prison. Any that is holding me captive. Holding what do you think you are doing? Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Catch fire. Any spiritual prison holding me captive? Catch fire. Any spiritual prison that is holding me captive? What do you think you are doing? I command you to catch fire. I command you to catch fire. I say catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Every spiritual imprisonment. In our families, catch fire, 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 fire. You spiritual prison that is holding me captive. What do you think you are doing? What do you think you are doing? Catch fire, receive the unconscionable fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive the unconscionable fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive the unconscionable fire of the Holy Ghost. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Say any cage, any cage holding me bondage. Holding me bondage. Holding my family bondage. Holding my family bondage. Holding my family captive. Holding my family. Your time is up. Your time is up. Break! Break! And scatter! 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 Pray! 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 The Bible says. The effectual favor prayer of the righteous avail much. Somebody pray. Any cage that is holding you must leave you now. Any spiritual cage holding our families, holding our family bondage, holding our families captive. Your end has come. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. And scatter. Break now. And scatter. Break now and scatter. Break now and scatter. Every cage that is holding our family's bondage. Every cage that is holding our family captive. Your end is now. Scatter. Break now. Break now. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. Break. Somebody pray. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. Somebody pray. Rekete 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 rekete. Masha pa pa pa. Rekete ria ba 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 ba. Mantori andelebe. Masha kete li andala ba la ba. Rekete every cage that is holding our families. Every cage that is holding us bondage. Your time has come. Your end has come. Your end has come. Your end has come. Break right now and scatter in the name of Jesus. Let that case scatter. Let that case scatter. Let it break and scatter. Let it break and scatter. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Say, you invisible hand. You invisible hand. Spoiling my opportunities. Spoiling my opportunities. Destroying my opportunities. Destroying my opportunities. Holding me stuck in life. Holding me stuck in life. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Wither. 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 Rot. 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 Rot by fire. Rot by fire. Command it to rot. Command it to wither and rot. Right now, every invisible hand that is holding me, that is holding me stuck in life, that is holding us stuck in life, that is spoiling our opportunities. Every invisible hand that is spoiling our opportunities. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? 
you that evil hand, invisible hand, that is holding our breakthroughs, that is spoiling our opportunities, that is spoiling our breakthrough. This is your time. Wither, wither by fire, 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 wither by fire. You invisible hand that is holding us, spoiling our opportunities, spoiling our breakthroughs, spoiling our promotion, spoiling our elevations, spoiling our testimonies. Wherever you are, wither by fire, 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 raka pa 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 pa. Every invisible hand, every invisible hand that is holding you stuck in life. That is spoiling your opportunities that have taken the lead and spoiling your opportunities and spoiling your opportunities. Let that hand wither. Let that hand be arrested and wither by fire. Let it rot and be eaten up by maggots. In the name of Jesus. Every invisible ho hand holding you, the time of that hand has come to wither. Let it 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 wither. Command it to wither. That hand must leave you to go forward. It must leave you to go forward. Your opportunities must not spoil. Your breakthrough must not spoil. Your testimonies must not spoil. Somebody pray, pray, pray. It is happening. God is. Hey! Every invisible hand. Mashakatata. Invisible hand holding me, spoiling my breakthrough, so spoiling my testimonies. Your end is now. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray with rot right now. In Jesus Christ. In, name. The name In Jesus Christ's name. Mashaka Tabayana. Oko Tori and Dabaya. In Jesus' name we pray. We give Amen. Amen. God is answering our prayer. Amen. God is answering our prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As you are praying, you are breaking through. Amen. The Bible says, My house shall be called the house of what? Prayer. Yeah. Unto all nations. It shall be called the house of what? Prayer. So when you pray, you sweat, okay? Hey, my sweat is now attracting my hanky. Amen. Amen. All right. So we are praying again. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Say, you demonic entity. You demonic entity. Touching my peace. Touching my peace. Manipulating my joy. Manipulating my joy. Holding my joy. Holding my joy. What do you think you are doing? What do you think you are doing? Collapse and die. Collapse and die. You demonic entity. You demonic entity. Holding my joy. Holding my joy. Manipulating my peace. Manipulating my peace. What do you think you are doing? What do you think you are collapse doing? Collapse and die. Collapse and die. Command it to collapse, collapse and, and die, die right now. Command it, command it, command it. Command it, command it, command it, command it. What do you think you are doing? What do you think you are doing? Command and die. Somebody pray like never before. Let that demonic entity die and scatter. Let that demonic entity scatter and wither by fire and by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, ye kado zege de ura re tu si kabado riande sagada metili behende karozi gede u marekete baratozi gada maskote ru kada barama ye tili behi kada lege zeka zogozi gide brando rakapata parabot ye pele 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 pe rakandele bo si katala rakata baraskoro re tele bele bele bea rakaba ba 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 re se de bele 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 be re kele bele bele be antara balaba raka soko to baraba man tele be skudubra bele be takaya baba ba ye kete bele 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 be rado zigi di bron talabalaba every demonic entity assigned oh lord to manipulate our peace our joy our happiness we 
will command you by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the finger of God, uh, scatter and die, scatter and wither, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We command you to wither that offer. We command you to perish that offer. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the finger of Jehovah. Ya go zagade branda baraba. Reke telebos gidi branda. Masokote baranda bolo bolo bo. Ya kete para pa 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 pa. Ya katuri sindiri bianta. Rege de blo sete bala bala ba. Mashe katala bala bala ba. Rege de de bo shantala bala bala ba. Ma kantele bele 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 antala ba. Ma go zege de bronde branda branda branda. Yes, pray, 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 pray. Yes, pray, pray. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. God is answering our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Say any ancestral curse. Any ancestral curse. In my family. In my family. Giving the family no peace. Giving the family no peace. You ancestral curse. You ancestral curse. In my nation. In my nation. Giving the nation no peace. Giving the nation. Your no time peace. is up. Your time is up. Die. die. Command that curse to die. Command it to die. Let the curse die. Let this be seen speaking against your family. Let the curse be seen speaking against your home. Let the curse be seen speaking against your family. Raka pa 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 pa. Every ancestral test giving no peace to our families. Every ancestral test that is giving no peace to our nation. Your time is up. Scatter. Break. Die. Break. Die. Break. Die. Break. Die. Break. Every cash speaking against the peace of your family. Every cash speaking against the progress of your family. Every cash speaking against the, your, the well-being of your family. Every cash speaking against you. Every cash speaking against the peace of your nation. Let that cash die. Let it be cease speaking. Let the cash be cease speaking. Katoria, Katoria, Katoria. Lepra, Katoria. Is giving no peace to our family. That is giving no peace to our nation. Your end has come. Die! Never speak against the family again. Why are we praying all this prayer? Against curses. Curses can hold you in captivity. When a curse is operating, everybody, if it is operating the family, everybody in the family is in captive. It's a captive. It's in captivity. It's a slave. Hallelujah. Amen. So that is why we are commanded. The curses has voice. It speak. It can speak against the progress of the family. It can speak against the peace of the family. The breakthroughs. Mm. The success. Mm. You see everybody failing in life. In the family. Hallelujah. Amen. Our topic is, Oh Lord, arise and tear my captivity. So curse can hold you a captive. Mm. Curse can hold you in bondage. Mm. Curse can hold you in slavery. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So, it's a serious prayer. Yes, we are going to attack curse again. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. The other one was ancestral curse. In other words, foundational curse. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, any curse I've inherited from my parents. Any curse I've inherited from my parents. I've inherited. I've inherited. From my fathers. From my fathers. Mothers, mothers, relatives, relatives, friends, friends, any cats, any cats, following me around, following me around, spoiling my opportunities, spoiling my opportunities, making life unbearable, making life unbearable. Hey, hey, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Break, 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 break. command it to break, break. now. 
Command it. Let it break. Let it break. It must break. It must break. It must break. Hey, any inheritor cash. Inheritor cash. I reject you. Inheritor cash. Inheritor cash. Inheritor cash. Wherever you are, they are following us. Wherever you are, break. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break. 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 From our own Lord, ta 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 break, 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 break. Let that case break. Let that case break. Any case you have inherited from your parents, your father, your mother, your friends, your relatives, your neighbors, any case you have inherited, anywhere it's coming from, that I've been following around. Break, 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 break. Break, 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 break. Break in the name of Jesus. Break, be ceased following us in the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying thanksgiving. Amen. We read the benefits when God turned your captivity. One is a harvest, one is a praise and a name He will give to you. That is what honor. One is double blessing. He turned the captivity of Job, He blessed Him double. Hallelujah. One is you cause your helpers that has forgotten of you to remember you. When God turn your captivity, your destiny helpers remember you. Amen. He promote you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we learned that when they came back, when God turned the captivity of Job, they came and then what? They presented unto him gifts. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to pray that the Lord, as he has turned our captivity, our helpers should remember us and help us. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As you cause the helpers, as you cause the helpers of Job to remember him, of Job to remember him after you turn his captivity, after you turn his captivity, turn my destiny helpers, turn my destiny helpers, let them remember me, let them remember by fire by thunder, by fire by thunder, let them remember me, let them remember, let them, let them send me gifts, let them send begin me to pray that prayer. It is a scripture. Pray that prayer. Le barasaka torianda la baya. Mashaka tarabala basokopa. Reketerie keterie tapaya. Father Lord, cause our destiny helpers to remember us. Cause our helpers to remember us. Wherever they are, let them remember. Trouble their heart to remember us. I should trouble the heart, O Lord, of the King. To Lord, remember Mordecai and promote him. Jesus Trouble their heart. Let them remember. Let, Let them remember begin us. to bring gold. Let them, Let them begin to send gift. In the name Let of Jesus. Remember. Somebody pray. Lord, pray, pray, Let pray. Them Let them remember. Let them send gift. Let them send gift. Let them send gift. Mashakata. Let our destiny help us. Begin, O Lord, to remember us. Let our destiny help us. Begin to remember us. Let our ministry help us. Destiny helpers, business helpers, oh marital helpers, oh destiny helpers, business helpers. Let them remember, let them remember us. Pray somebody, God is doing it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, I make a decree that I am walking. That I am walking in my harvest. In my harvest. I am harvest. I am, harvest. I am harvesting. I am harvesting. I am harvesting. I am harvesting. By fire by thunder. By fire Begin by to make that decree. Say, I am walking in my harvest. My divine harvest. Yes, the Bible says, I said before thee, and a harvest. After I turn your captivity, somebody pray. Pray. Declare. Declare that you are walking in your harvest. I'm walking in my harvest. I'm harvesting. I'm harvesting. I'm harvesting. I'm harvesting. I am into my divine harvest. I am harvesting. I am harvesting. Somebody harvest, harvest, harvest. Harvest now. Harvest whatever that belongs to you. Harvest it. The Bible says, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. In Obadiah 117. Yes, possess your possession. Somebody harvest, 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 harvest. Your wealth, harvest. Your breakthrough, harvest. Your success, your, your new job, harvest it. Your promotion, harvest it. Somebody, harvest it, harvest it. Pray, pray, pray. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I am harvesting in this season, in this time. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, pray, pray, pray. Harvest, harvest, harvest. Somebody, harvest. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Yes, you are walking 
in your harvest in Jesus' name. Amen. You are harvesting in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I say you are harvesting in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is a scripture. Amen. That is what we read yes. in Hosea chapter Amen. 6, the verse 11. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He said, also, O Judah, he has set an harvest for thee mm. when I return the captivity of my people. Amen. Today, you have harvested in Jesus' name. Amen. You will continue to harvest in Jesus' name. Amen. I make a prophetic decree over your life that you will harvest in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever that was being taken away, it has come back to you. Amen. Your joy is back. Amen. Your health is back. Amen. Your finance, your money, they are back. Amen. Your new job is back. Amen. Your position is back. Amen. Your promotion is back. Amen. He say, I'll restore to you the years that the canker worms has eaten. Yes. The men that coronavirus has eaten. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Chasing people into hiding. Mm. God is restoring in Jesus' name. Amen. God is restoring in Jesus' name. Amen. If your amen is louder, than that of your neighbor Mashaka. that is watching. Amen. The faster your harvest in Jesus' name. Amen. The faster your harvest in Jesus' Amen. name. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Libra Kanta. Rekiribianta. Rokubaya. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, we'll Thank, you, you Jesus. We'll you Thank you, Jesus. Thank we'll you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank the Lord for how far he has brought us. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord has brought restoration. Amen. Restoration. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 All right. Whatever you are doing, be it your business, whatever you are doing, be it ministry, mm. in the name of Jesus, we are mm. going to release Blessings upon it right now in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I'm having a spiritual leading from the Lord. Whatever you are doing, if you are a teacher, you lift up pen. Mm. I'm going to pray. Amen. The Lord says I should pray over the career, the job, what the, the things that his children are doing. Mm. The Lord says I should pray. Mm. So if you are a nurse, what you, what you raise up is a string, eh? a string yes. and a needle. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you are uh, into the army, you are a soldier. You just you can lift your uniform. If you are you are not on duty, just lift your uniform up. Amen. Amen. If you are a pastor, a prophet, a man of God, woman of God, you just lift up your Bible. Amen. 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 If you are a student, you can lift your pen. You can lift your book. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever work you are doing. Mm -hmm. If you are working in a bank, you are working in a bank, you are, what you are doing is money then. If you have money with you, you can lift it up. Mm. Amen. As Amen. a point of contact to your work. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When God turned the captivity of Zion, it was like men that dream. Mm. What God is about to do for you, it will be like a dream. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If only you open all your heart and believe what we are doing, yes, it will Lord. be like a dream. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you are in an office, you are working, you are just a government worker, what you just left is what? Pen. Any in the, the instruments of your work. And maybe you are working there, you, you are in need of promotion. As you lift your pen up, also write in a paper, I need a promotion. The men you need, the right the men attack to it and lift it up. Amen. If it is also a job you are also in need of, also write the name of the job. Write the men you need it and lift it up. Amen. The Bible says, let your request be made known unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord will grant your request. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If it is marriage you want, just write marriage. And the, the men or the year you want this marriage, write it. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. God will do it. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If it is the fruit of the womb, um, if there is a fruit close to you, maybe you have fruit in your room, you can take one and lift up. If you don't have fruit, don't worry. 
if you are in need of the fruit of the womb, you just what you will do is you just write, I need the fruit of the womb. When do you want to conceive? You write it. Everything you write it. Amen. Amen. Yes. If you want husband, write the, write the type of husband you are in need of. You'll be surprised. You know, I was in Accra some time ago, yeah. and one woman was in need of job. I told her, just write it. Write the man who want the job. Mm. She did it. Yes. And what happened? That same man, yes. she had the job. Amen. And she testified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. There are a lot of testimonies, a lot of testimonies on this. So whatever you are writing, God will do it for you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm going to now pray. Mm. Amen. Amen. I'm about to pray. I'm about to pray. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rakatarabayana. Job chapter 6. I'm reading it. Mm. Job chapter 6, verse 8. I read. He said, Oh! that I might have my request and that God will grant me the thing that I long for. Amen. The Amen. thing that you are longing for, just write it. That's your request. Job chapter 6, the verse 8, he said that, Oh, that I might have my request. You will have your request in Jesus' name. Amen. You will have it granted unto thee in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, that I might have my request and that God will grant me the thing that I long for. God will grant you Hallelujah. the thing that you long for. Amen. God granted the request of Job. Mm. And what was it? God bless him. Amen. Double. That was what Job was looking for. Mm. Having the faith. Mm. Alright, if you are ready, just type, I'm ready. Mm. So, I'm just talking while waiting for you to write what you want God to do for you. If it is marriage, write it. If it is healing, maybe you want for somebody in your family, a person is not watching with you, you can write the person's name. And if you know the type of sickness the person is suffering from, you write it in your room and lift it up. The Lord will bring healing. This is the time. I'm just having that leading. I was about for us to end this live video, but the Lord said I should, I should pray for people in this direction. So I have to to pray for you. If you are ready, say, I'm ready. Amen. Amen. Say, I'm ready. Thank you, Jesus. Just type, I'm ready. If you are ready, so that I'll pray for you. Mm. And then we'll bring the service to an end, to a close. Anointed Shaola, I'm ready. Okay. That is great. Uh, Deborah Sediko, I'm ready. Okay. Great. Uh, Lydia mm. Polibo, I'm ready. Great. Mm -hmm. Who is also ready? Watching, who is also ready? Watching Evelyn up here. I'm ready. Okay, great. Deborah uh, Sediko, I'm ready. All right, God bless you. You are ready. Ma, me, amwa, tema. All right, God bless you. I'm ready. Wow, I see a mighty favor around you. That name, I'm just struggling. Ma, me, amwa, tema. Wow. Amen. But I see a spirit from the water fighting you. A spirit from the water is fighting you. A giant. Very strong. Very strong. Sometimes make you become very sad. You don't even know what happened, but you just feel sad, feel bored. That is a spirit doing that to you. Mane amotema. You used to have money, but now it's not easy. Your finance has been attacked. This is what the Lord is saying. But as you are lifted, whatever you are lifting up, God will bring breakthrough to you in Jesus' name. Amen. God will favor you in the name of Jesus. Sylvester, Seduko, I'm ready. All right. Thank you. Now I'm about to pray. Thank you, Lord. Father, Lord Jesus Christ, your word says we should let our requests be made known unto you. So, these are the requests of your children that have been lifted up to you. Father, some are in need of the fruit of the womb, some are in need of new jobs, some are in need of promotion, some are in need of new cars, some are in need of new houses. 
some are in need of breakthrough in ministry in business that the there are many needs and you are watching all you know them before they even wrote them down but lord we are following your scripture that say we should let your request our request be made known to you we have followed it lord jesus christ i pray that you grant them their request Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. grant them their request oh lord Amen. when they are lifted turn it into testimony Amen. turn it into testimony Amen. Turn it into testimony, Amen. into testimony, Amen. into testimony, Amen. into testimony, Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. What they have lifted up, turn it into testimony, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If it is marriage, let them have it. Amen. If it is babies, let them have it. Amen. Father, if it is new job, let them have it. Amen. If it is promotion, let them have it. Amen. Let them have it. Let them have it. Amen. Let them have it, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. If it is healing, let them receive it, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Be it house they are building, let them be able in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever they have lifted as an instrument of their work, bless it for them. Amen. Those lifted their pens, their books, bless it for them. Amen. Their uniform, bless their work for them. Amen. Take their work to another level. Yes, Open a new chapter for their work. Amen. Open a new chapter for their business, Amen. for their career. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Break through in the name of Jesus in your finances. Amen. Break through in your ministry. Amen. Break through right now in your education. Amen. Break through in your family, your marriage. Amen. Break through, break through, break through, break through, break through. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Break through, break through, break through, break through in your finances. Amen. Break through in the name of Jesus. Amen. Death has been canceled. I just Amen. see the Lord cancel somebody's death. Amen. One person is watching. Yes. You are owing death. You don't know how to pay it. And the Lord just ministered to me that he has canceled the debt. Amen. Not that he has settled, he has canceled it. Amen. Mark it. The Lord has done it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Mark Mandoria Katala Bayada. Le Balaba Seketeria Lama Seketeria Laba Shandalaba. Rokotoria Mama Seketeria Kaparadaba. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I hear the Lord. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. There is a particular tree. Tree. In one of you community. It's fighting you. You have a dream about the tree. The tree. But you didn't understand it. You saw a tree. You didn't understand it. This is evil tree. The Lord just revealed to me. I just see a tree. The Lord said one of you is watching. There is a tree fighting you. Whatever that tree is holding against you, mm. I command it to release it for you. Jesus. Any good thing the tree has captured from your community, let it release it now in Jesus' name. Amen. And I command the tree to be uprooted. Amen. Let it rot from its root. Amen. It can't stop you mm. in Jesus' name. That evil tree, tree, I decree and declare death against it. Amen. Let it die. Amen. Let it die. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. What you have lifted is blessed. Amen. What you have lifted is anointed. Amen. What you have lifted is anointed. Amen. Breakthrough. Amen. Another level. Amen. Another dimension. Amen. In your ministry. Amen. In your career. Amen. In your business. Amen. In your marriage. Amen. Another level. Amen. Another level. Amen. In your ministry. Amen. Another level. Amen. In your marriage. Amen. In your relationship. Amen. Another level. Amen. Another level. Amen. Another dimension. Amen. Receive it. Amen. Receive, 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 receive. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. It is done. Amen. Comment three times. It is done. Make that decree. It is, it is done. done. It, it is, is done. done. It, it is done. done in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Comment that it is done three times. It is done. That Thank is the direction. You. Thank you. Well. Thank you, Jesus. Comment it is done three times. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Alan George. Alan George. Wow. The Lord says, I should tell you, you have a very big ministry. Pray about it. It will be confirmed deeply to you. God will confirm it. Alan George, you have a very big ministry. A very big ministry. God is raising you up in the healing ministry. In the healing ministry. Alan George, God is raising you up in a powerful healing ministry. Pray, the Lord 
confirming more to you. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. You are a great man of God. Alan George. God is raising you up in the healing ministry. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ. That name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Um, you commented three times. It is done. Deborah said, it is done. Okay. Anointed Shola, it is done. It is done. It is done. Wow, powerful. The, the Apollo, it is done. So be it as you decree and declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm speaking to you, Alan George. This is my first time of seeing this name. Alan George. This is my first time of seeing you here. Yeah. But this is what God is saying. He's raising you up into a healing ministry. Deadly diseases, when you stretch forth, even your hands, stretching forth holy, it will get disappeared. That mm -hmm. tells you the kind of anointing God is going to pour on you. So, please, and uh, spend time with pray in prayer. That Alan George. Spend time praying. Spend time praying. The Lord is about to do something great, something great, something great. Spend time in prayer and fasting. Thank you, Jesus. There is a lot of attack, rise and fall in your family, but you are the David in your father's house. Mm -hmm. You are the one to conquer those battles mm -hmm. and save the entire family, Alan George. You are the pillar. I see you are an iron pillar in your father's house. It's not easy there, but, but God has spoken. Things are turned around in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. K B Osagie, 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 or what? God is raising you up in in finances. You are going to be very rich. I'm not just saying something to make you happy. This is what I'm hearing. God is talking about you. I don't know you, but this is what the Lord is saying. You are going to be very, very rich. Very, very rich. Very, very rich. If you can remember your dreams, you ever had a dream that you saw plenty money, just saw money, you see money in your dream. If you can remember it, that name I'm just struggling to call K B Osagia. God is raising you up. Look at you are you are going to be a billionaire. A billionaire. Market, 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 market. If you can remember your dreams, you confirm it. This is your first time here. Uh, this is what the Lord just speak to me. This is what the Lord just speak to me. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. When you remember it, you confirm it. Okay, he has confirmed. K B O S A J. He said, very true, sir. Yes. You didn't tell me this. This is your first time of watching, coming on live. But this is what I've seen. You ever had a dream? You have you seen plenty money. It's not even once you have this dream. You see yourself, plenty money. You see yourself in cars. You are a rich person. You are a rich person. And one of the things you do is you build an estate. You say, yeah, he said, yes, daddy, I remember. You remember the dream. That is God speaking. I don't know. You didn't tell me your dream, but God is revealing it. You are going to build an estate. You are, you are going to have a lot of cars. Money will not be a problem to you. But uh, why? God has given you a giving heart. Even now, you don't have much, but you have been helping people. The little you have, you help people. Now, your friends know you as a giver. I don't know you, but this is what the Lord is saying. And because of such a heart you have, God loves you so much. God loves you so much. Uh-huh. He's confirming. He say, yeah, he's confirming it's true. He also confirm here, many men of God say the same thing to me. Wow. So, a KB Osage, where are you watching from? Just type your, your nation, your country name, if it is Ghana or any nation you are watching from. Say, you are very correct, sir. So, this is the Lord speaking to you. You type your nation. Those of you that are watching, type where you are watching from, your nation. If I see anything, I'll tell you. If I see anything, I'll tell you. If I don't see anything, too, I can't force myself to speak. Because if I speak lie, if I prophesy lies, I'm in trouble on Judgment Day. 
So we are always careful when we are giving prophecies. If God don't say, you say, God say, you are in trouble. On judgment day, we will account for whatever we prophesied. Mm -hmm. So we are always careful. Okay, KB Osagia say he's from UK. He's watching from the United Kingdom. All right, God bless you for connecting. So I cover this prophecy with the blood of Jesus. I pray that what the Lord has spoken concerning your life will come to pass in Jesus' name. It will come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing shall stop it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And one of the things is you will build orphanage home and a school also. This is one of the things. So I see you built a very big orphanage home and a school. The school will be in the orphanage home. You will build it. You are a very great person. God has just opened your profile to me here. I'm just, I'm just prophesying your future. What God has for you. Just seeing what God has for you. It's, it's, it's not like it's written anywhere that I'm watching, reading, telling you. It's your future. Who can see your future? Except only God. He created it. But you say many men of God also prophesy the same thing to you. And it's very true. God bless you for watching. Okay. My daughter says she's watching from Accra. Uh, Evelyn, Deborah, all right. Uh, my daughter, Deborah, I know you. God bless you for watching. The Lord bless you. And my brother, my friend, and my man of God, Sylvester, God bless you for coming. Amen. I'm watching from Wa. The Lord increase your ministry in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. God increase your ministry in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter, Deborah, said, Sodikun. Be praying, God is calling into the prophetic ministry, but you are going through the process of it. And when he's done with you, he'll bring you out and everybody will know your calling. This is what the Lord has revealed to me. You are carrying a prophetic calling upon your life and he's processing you. After he's done with you, he will bring you out and this calling will manifest strongly. You are a prophetess, but the Lord is still uh, grooming you. All right, and then Ma Ame Amwatema, the one that I've just given a prophetic word to, watching from London. God bless you for coming in to connect. Ohene Kennedy, watching from Kumasi, Ghana. All right, so God bless your nation in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless your nation. God bless your nation. Ohene Kennedy, pray. Somebody is in mind to give you a car. And just somebody is in the mind of the person to give you a car. Not just a mere car. Not a mere car. So it's in the mind of somebody to give you a car. So go and write this prophetic word in your diary. If you have prayer altar, put it there and pray. Say, my father, who is to give me this car? Trouble the heart of that person to hand over the keys and the papers to me. The Lord will do it. You will testify. Yes, you will testify. Somebody is in mind, but the person is just should I do it or not? You'll be surprised, it will come. It's going to come. One time, one chief visited me from Accra. I shared a testimony in the church. Yes. He visited me from Accra, and when he was about to go, the Lord opened my eyes, and I saw that as he's going back to Accra, somebody would then dash him a car. And I told him, He said he went back. Uh, okay, my daughter Deborah is confirming that's very true uh -huh. because your dreams they are all always accurate. When you dream, they come to pass. It's only that Satan is fighting your dream life this day, but your dreams are always accurate. That is a prophet. When you say something, you see that it's happening. Sometimes you think of something, even if you don't say it, but what it comes to your mind, the time you realize, you see it happening. That is what are happening. They are happening to you. Amen. Okay, I didn't finish talking to Ohine uh, Kennedy. This is what I'm seeing, somebody handing over a car to you. As I, I was sharing a, a testimony of a certain chief that visited me from Accra, and I gave him a prophetic word. He went back, he said, what? he attended a meeting, they closed, he was walking, one young man just walked behind him, tapped his back, and was carrying a brown envelope, car papers, key, just handed over that the Lord has taught his heart to give him this gift. He went back and saw a Range Rover mm. parked outside for him. 
free. You see, and he said, My prophet told me this when mm. I visited him in a uh, tamale. You see, he doesn't keep long. He had the car, so mark it down. The words that are coming are not my words, mm. these are God, God, God's words speaking to you. God's word speaking to you. God's word speaking to you. And what, what I'm seeing, the car is all white. Glory. Uh, Glory to uh, Jesus. Four-wheel drive. Glory to Jesus. And a white in color, pure white in mm. color, four-wheel drive. This is the color the Lord has revealed to me. Pure white car. Or Hini Kennedy. Pray about it. All right. Uh, Sylvester Sodiku. With my wife Deborah, what you said about her is very true. Wow, he's a man of God. Is confirming to the prophecy the wife have received, so, but they didn't tell me this. Do you tell me these things that I've just mentioned? No, you didn't tell me this. God has yet revealed them here as I'm sitting here. So God is everywhere. He can see everywhere, far near. He can see your situations. Amen. Amen. Uh, an eternal merenda. It will not be long. After this, this, this virus is gone, <laughs> I see the Lord sending you out of Ghana to uh, a nation abroad, overseas. Mm -hmm. So be preparing to avoid that. If you don't have passport, you need to go and register. Have it done. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is the mind of God. I just see you out there. You are not for this nation, you are going abroad. I've seen it. Mark it down and get your preparation. All right. Mba Bela, Mba Bela Charles. I'm Charles watching from Ghana, Tamale. God bless you. You are in Tamale here with me. God bless you for watching from Tamale. For watching from Tamale. Thank you, Jesus. All right. The, 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 the Deborah Sodiku is. Say you know, man of God, we didn't tell you. That is it, the Holy Spirit, real distance. All right. God bless you for following and watching. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, those of you that maybe you want to contact me through WhatsApp chatting, if you send a message to this page, Prophet Maurice Carroll, it will give you the number. And my email. You can email me. You can chat me on WhatsApp. The number is just zero five four six four four one three nine two. So if you just send the message to the page, you are sending a message to the page to give you the number in my email. You can chat me, and and if you have a testimony, you share it through that WhatsApp line. And then your other brothers will hear of it. And it will encourage them and live their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Maybe you have a testimony to give. You don't know how to do it. Just send a private message to the page, Prophet Maurice Carho. you get my WhatsApp line there and my email. You can share that testimony through the email. Or you can share it through that WhatsApp. Your other brothers will hear of it. It will live their faith. The Lord bless you so much god bless you so much the devil is very wicked you know he's wicked i see blood around you and the lord said i should tell you to pray against accident this is accident this is accident accident this is motor accident motor accident but god revealed to redeem I decree and declare that it's cancelled in Jesus' name. Amen. It's terminated in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Annette Miranda is saying, Amen, that it is true to her prophecy about the abroad. It means you have knowledge of what I'm telling you. God will bring it to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. God will bring it to pass in Jesus' name. We will testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Lydia Polibo. Lydia Polibo. Get ready for twins. I see the Lord giving you boys. <laughs> and these boys, they will not be stubborn. But dedicate them to the service of God. I see twins. This is what I'm seeing. I see twins, twins, twins. And they are boys. But you dedicate them to the service of God. But if you are not ready for them to, no problem. Somebody else somewhere that is watching, if you are ready, you can receive it. 
Amen. Amen. And it's going to happen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pray for a, a, a woman in Tamale. Yeah, there are a lot of people now. Mm. There are a lot of people. Yes. And she has given birth to twins, a boy and a girl. Mm. Amen. Amen. And I remember I was in Fountingy Chapel. Mm. That is a Bole. I was invited some years back to preach there. And one Ashanti woman was in need of the fruit of the womb. And the Lord gave me a prophetic word to give to her. And I gave her that she's going to give her to twins. It doesn't keep long. She conceived. And they did the scan, twins. And she now delivered. Amen. She called me and gave her testimony. Amen. So what I'm telling you now, if, if you are in need of it, did they are They are coming. They are coming. You say you are ready, eh? Okay, very soon you conceive. And when you conceive, know that they are twins inside. They are boys, and these boys are great men of God. One is a medical doctor, and one is a prophet. So they have been prophesied before they even come. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There are a lot. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. All right, you will testify. All of you will testify. Those of you that are watching, you will testify in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Testimonies must never lack in your mouth. Amen. God will answer you, your enemies with your testimonies. Amen. Your testimonies will come and silence your enemies Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Wow. So we will leave our service here. And I'll come your way as the Lord directs me again. Mm. God bless you for spending your time to watch this live video and for following after this day. Mm. The Lord increase you, mm. protect your home, mm. your family in Jesus' name. Mm. And bless you. You will testify. Mm. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Mm. So, in case you are watching but you don't like the page, you like the page and turn your notification bell on. Anytime I come on live, you will be notified to come and watch and be blessed. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you are next to be prophesied to. Mm -hmm. So my next video, don't miss it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You are next to be prophesied to. You are next. You are next to be blessed in Jesus Christ's name. Mm -hmm. So like the page and follow it. And share the video and God will bless you. God bless all of you. In Jesus Christ's name I prayed. Amen. Yes. But the Lord said I should lead some of you to Christ. Those of you that are watching, you don't know the Lord, say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, I confess that I'm a sinner. But I have recognized my sins today. Forgive me today. And wash me. Write my name in the book of life. Help me to be a candidate of heaven. Help me to follow you in righteousness and in holiness to the end. In Jesus Christ's name I praise. Amen. Mm -hmm. God bless you. I love all of you. Shalom. Peace. Bye-bye.